Welcome or welcome back to Living in the Pacific Northwest with Hal Bird. Today, I'd like you to hear from some of my youngest, sweetest, and most awesome clients, Michael and Megan, who recently purchased their very first home and actually relocated to Vancouver, Washington, all the way from Tampa, Florida. Mike's an army veteran who now owns a photography business, and Meg is a medical professional. Let's listen to their experience with moving across the country, this PNW weather, and some funny surprises since becoming a part of this community. So you guys just moved here in November. Yeah. What do you think about the people here? They're very social, like they'll, they'll say hello to you, they'll have conversation with you, right? We're not, we're not like used to that, honestly. Coming from Florida? Yeah, they're yeah. way nicer here. Mm -hmm. like they're really cool, like they, a lot of people, they just, they, they're friendly, they're collected, they yeah. say mm -hmm. hi, I don't know. <laughs> Did you feel like you were rude the first time at the grocery store when someone had a real conversation with you? Yeah. <laughs> I felt, I, I, I felt like I was doing something wrong the whole time on the road to you. Like, you told me to get out of here, you stalker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like, no, I don't need anything. I don't want to buy anything. Uh, yeah. They approach you, they say, hey, uh, how's it going? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know how to respond. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the driver. We talking about the driving. Oh, yeah, the driving. There's no. Uh, middle fingers or people throwing coke no bottles coffee. at your car or yeah. hitting you and then running off and <laughs> no rear ending like pressure is just much lower yeah much lower so what was the last thing we talked about the oh the weather yes so it hasn't been it hasn't been raining every day you guys moved here basically in the fall right right at the beginning of winter from the sunshine yeah. state yeah. From the sunshine state in the west yeah i say the weather's been good to us compared i mean it's no downpour where it's just like Pounding your car. Or, you know, coming from where we came from, and I think many states, like rain is common. Um, where we were from, our rain is very heavy. Yeah. Very, very heavy rain. We would have floods, and like we're used to that heavy rain. Hurricanes. Over here, it kind of like <laughs> sprinkles throughout the day, and just it's actually a pleasant kind of rain, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's fair out here. So. Yeah. It's not bad. It's at nothing all. uncomfortable that we're like not used to. The rain's laid back just like the lifestyle. <laughs> yeah, usually drizzle. Right. You know. That's what I said. <laughs> it's funny when we were doing our homework here, they said like no one here uses an umbrella. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, if you wear, if you have an umbrella, people know you're not from, from town. <laughs> mm -hmm. so like, Do you guys oh, use I'm, umbrellas? No. At first, I heard I about that. <laughs> no. I, I heard about I it ahead of time. Know. I said, yeah, I'm not gonna wear it. <laughs> <laughs> I got a whole corner full of umbrellas. I'm like, you're never gonna be used again. <laughs> he told me to put it away. <laughs> put it away. Oh she had the one with the kitties on it. Oh, <laughs> Are you joking? No. <laughs> it's in the like truck you. right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Google other uses for umbrella. <laughs> and then what was your, since we're already recording, what was your experience like, or why did you want to move from Florida to Washington? Uh, honestly, I just wanted to change, 100% change. I mean, I grew up on the East Coast most of my life, so I kind of already, I would say, know mostly what to expect there. It's just on this side, it's, it's different. Mm -hmm. so different it's, uh, weather, different, different people, yeah. things to explore. Mm -hmm. I think we were just looking for all of that, honestly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what was your experience like buying? Was it looking for a home, kind of working with me? Was it super competitive? Did I, did I make it pretty easy for you? <laughs> as crazy as I heard the market was, you guys had just made this completely easy. Like, it, it, it was a breeze and it was quick. I mean, it was like, what, a month? <laughs> yeah, it was super short from and the you time. You did it like mostly sight and scene, right? Super. He never saw the house I never before even he came here before that at all. So you had never yeah. been here before that, right? No, <laughs> he has never been here. No, but the process was smooth, um, and and that was reassuring to us. With yeah. such a big change and a big move like this, we mm -hmm. we felt comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. With how it worked to yeah. get to know me at first, know us, and know what we want. It wasn't yeah. really just, oh, what do you want? No, none of that. It was just, <laughs> like, it, it, it just worked out so well. Mm -hmm. There I go hitting this again. <laughs> <laughs> and then would you say, like, because everything that we did was virtual, so, like, you... You did a virtual showing to see the house, you made an offer, and then when we did the inspection, I recorded the inspector and everything. So when from the time seeing everything virtual, never seeing it till the time you like first opened the door, was it did it meet your expectations? Does that make sense? It really did, yeah. The 
This is the right house, right? Yeah, that was like, okay. Wow. There we go. Pretty good, yeah. Pretty accurate. Yeah, I mean, it was almost as if I was there, especially one, especially with the, the video showing. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it went a lot smoother, a lot easier than I thought it would. Yeah, I mean, they so. answered, like, our first phone call they answered. Uh, mm -hmm. It was simple because you gave us references. Yeah. And also, um, you know, we got that feedback pretty quick. So mm -hmm. we were able to look at everything that, mm -hmm. you know. And I think we made a couple offers. It was like, I think one of the things people don't understand is that when, if you're doing virtual showings and you're not here, that I can go out and look at the houses whenever. Because remember we saw the condo in Salmon Creek and we saw at least one other. And then that one all in the first day that we did showings. And you made an offer on this one and it got accepted. And we're, you, uh, we're you No, you're not on. You're not on. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. Do you need a few minutes? Uh, give us like one minute, yeah. <laughs> we're hanging out. You can always cut uh, that out, don't we? At the yeah. <laughs> Mary Hill Winery tasting room on, in uh, Vancouver Waterfront. And we had all the goods, right? We had all the goods. All the goods. We got That's sandwiches amazing. and clam chowder and yeah. desserts and baked many, brie. Many, many wine tastings. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> it was so much fun. Cool. Is there anything that you would tell someone who's like thinking about relocating here? Uh, honestly, just go for it, you know, and definitely work with Halvin. She's awesome. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's not, it's not as bad as, uh, as people make it out to be. I mean, most of it, you know, if you got the right team, you got the right lender, you got the right agent, all that stuff, it, it'll go quick and pretty easy. Yeah. So. And you guys are happy with your new life? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. By far. Yay. And so you're excited. Making, and you're making a list of all the, uh. The activities to do, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, every, I don't know if it's a <laughs> list or a novel. But... <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Yeah. I'm working on it. But well, we're glad to have you here in, in Vancouver with us. So. Yeah. Uh, thank awesome you so place. much. Yeah.